we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, hello, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Scorpio, what I was getting off camera when I was meditating for you was it's like somebody's protecting their heart or protecting their peace. Okay, so this could be like it almost looks like the two of swords, like somebody's, you know, willingly not wanting to engage. Not right now. Um, they'll come back to it, make a decision later. So this is either you or this is somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, so let's see what the cards have to offer. So we have um, we have haltiness. We have melancholy. We have hope and then young woman. All right. So. What these cards look like is that uh, what I was first getting is somebody, there's a younger woman. Um, she's trying to hold on to hope that she's going to find somebody worth having. Somebody could be running into like F boys and, you know, just some, you know, guys that just don't mean them any good, you know, um, or they don't want the same thing or they don't want anything long term or they don't want commitment. There could even be somebody had to leave somebody who was, this thought that he, this looks like a he was God's gift to the earth. Um, they had to leave this situation because there, there could have been another woman involved also. Somebody was holding on to hope that maybe they could get past this, they can get over this, they can move past, you know, all of the drama. There's a man here who thinks he is God's gift to the earth, point blank, period. Um, but he may be kind of getting tossed out. Like, this is somebody who doesn't want the connection, doesn't want the relationship. This is somebody who's kind of like grieving the relationship. This is also somebody trying to woo the other person to come back. Or, or someone's not over the other person. But they've gone too far or they did something that was went too far. Let's see what the Tarot has to offer us. So this was somebody who was high on their mighty horse, you know, and they thought that they could do anything and somebody left, might left their ass and now they're trying to hold on to hope that they can get this woman back. There's also somebody here who's dating and not finding anybody worth dating. There's somebody here who's definitely trying to, you know, um, do pull out all the stops to get this person back. Yeah, Eight of Swords. So um, it looks like somebody's stuck here in the Eight of Swords. Um, they thought that they can do whatever they wanted, but then the tables turn and now they're stuck because they, they hadn't been here before. They hadn't been in a place of being left or being left behind. Yeah, the two of cups, but there's definitely somebody who wants reconciliation, wanting to, 
you know, be in a one-on-one -on -one connection now, wanting to have forgiveness or heal, heal the connection, eight of pentacles. This looks like cycle over and over, in and out, off and on, hot and cold. Someone has given someone so many chances and, and then eventually they left. And the other person who got left is at a, a like dumbfounded as to like what is happening because this has never happened before. There's also somebody meeting somebody, meeting the same person, you know, over and over. It's someone who doesn't want commitment, who just wants to love them and leave them or have sex or have fun and then, you know, go on their merry way. This could be you, Scorpio, Scorpio man, Emperor, Aries, Taurus also. It, it just looks like um, somebody's, yeah, somebody who thought that they were high on their mighty horse. They can do anything because they are the emperor. They built a lot. They're the husband. You know, they got money, this, that, and the third. But even this person, even this emperor got left behind by somebody, maybe a younger woman. She didn't want what he was offering. Somebody wants reconciliation now. They want to talk it out. They want to come back around or they want another chance. Someone had been given several chances to get it right. Somebody also kept another woman on the side and then somebody left. Somebody wanted to, you know, be like friends with benefits for a very long time and not put any type of commitment on it. And this is an older gentleman. This is somebody who felt like they could do whatever they wanted to do. They, they thought that they would never, yeah, somebody would never change their mind here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Somebody just thought like, oh, you know, they've dealt with it so long. They ain't going to leave. But then somebody got the nerve to leave. Yeah, someone got the nerve to leave. Someone is still stuck on a feminine energy, maybe a masculine energy. Yeah, four of cups, you know, looking at what they lost, lost out, resenting, regret what they lost. Um, maybe even not even seeing the part that they played in this in their own demise i'm not learning the lesson here because they're being so self-centered you know redirecting everything back to themselves oh she left me because i didn't have enough money oh she left me because i didn't have enough time oh she left me because um another guy would talk to her for hours on the phone and i wouldn't and not seeing the reason why you got left like you got left because you weren't putting in the work the commitment there was no commitment i was committed to you you weren't committed to me there was no reciprocity um so somebody is still not seeing the, you know the reason why or they're not you know learning the lesson here it could be you could be someone else scorpio um this is somebody feeling like they missed out though you have five of swords they didn't win they didn't get what they wanted the five of swords here is bad blood between you and someone else, maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius coming up, first deacon, Aquarius. This is also maybe, um, you know, needing to chart a new path to, to happiness here, needing to just accept defeat and move on, stop the argument, stop the disagreement. Um, yeah, needing to kind of take a break and see what part you played in the situation. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to shout out to some cities that have high viewership. So I was looking over the analytics and I saw that London, Houston, Atlanta, Dallas, uh, Philadelphia, uh, Chicago, LA, and New York have high viewership. So shout out to you guys. Let me know where you're viewing from down in the comment section. Okay. Um, also you could buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to, if you took something from the reading, you could give back the link is below. And if you're a business minded individual, you want to talk business, you want to talk about how to start your business or maintain or come up with different avenues or methods of how to further your business. You can always book your uh, complimentary discovery call where we can go over some things and get you to a place of maybe mentorship and then it also if you just want to be around business-minded individuals like yourself you can always sign up for the monthly ktmg keep the momentum going 
conference call where you get to talk with me. I bring valuable business information. There are business minded individuals there. We get to kind of uh, pick each other's brain. We get to um, kind of fellowship and also um, get valuable advice in regards to starting or maintaining your business. So take advantage, the links are below. Take care, many blessings to you, bye.